Hello people, in this video we are looking at these books Long Cases in General Surgery by Raja Mahendran and Short Cases in Surgery by the same author. So basically for your surgery practical case taking etc. these books are very useful. Usually what book you will carry to your uh, clinics will be thus, isn't it? However, this is not sufficient it doesn't go into treatment it doesn't go into complications of your treatment etc this book is not sufficient okay so please use these books like um, uh, this one so you need both of these books to pass your surgery viva look at the book So let's look at long cases in sur general surgery. So you, here you have the hernia, especially inguinal hernia is important. Thyroid very important. Then carcinoma breast, breast case very important. <coughs> Stomach that is abdomen, pain abdomen. So you should know about uh, what in this. Peptic ulcer disease, tumors in stomach. This are uh, quite rare actually. Uh, Obstructive jaundice, no, this also they won't ask. Liver mass, right iliac fossa mass. Okay, focus people, let's get back here. Right iliac fossa mass can be what? Various lumps. Okay, focus guys, we have got you some more information, more uh, proper. Stomach, you can get uh, peptic ulcer disease and carcinoma stomach. Um, then obstructive jaundice because of uh, carcinoma of the gallbladder or uh, common bile duct stones or the pancreatic cause this you should know right iliac fossa mass they can give you which can be an appendicular mass or an abscess or a ileocecal tb or a ca cecum okay so these are the very common cases that you get in surgery mass uh, of the liver liver mass can be hepatocellular carcinoma liver secondaries hydrated cyst of liver and it can be because of uh, ca colon or ca rectum anus etc Okay, so then coming to varicose veins, you would have seen a lot of patients by the time they walk in, you will know that in the leg, uh, you can see superficial veins which are dilated, tortuous, what else, what is the other uh, thing, right? Then coming to peripheral vascular disorders, that is PVD, you can have TAO, thromboangitis uh, obliterans, right? It's written here, thromboangitis obliterans. Also, uh, what did they say? Atherosclerosis, etc. will come here. Burgess disease, Reynolds uh, phenomena, etc. comes here. Uh, Reynolds disease okay that comes here now uh, then let's go to other things in this books a uh, book other than long cases you have instruments actually they have given instruments also instruments this is the retractor isn't it then you have x-ray uh, x-rays right instruments are there then yeah x-rays are there then specimens are there a lot of things are there in this book then what else Operative procedures also they will ask. Like mainly they asked me uh, thyroidectomy. Yes. Circumcision they will ask. They will ask uh, hernioplasty how to do. How will you drain an abscess? Like and they can ask you Hilton's drainage. Sebaceous cyst excision. Hydroseal that is uh, mar marsupialization. Right. So all this they can ask you as operative procedures. So this book itself can help you pass uh, general surgery. Viva. Okay. And um, now let us now look at what is there in short cases in surgery. I think before that, let me show you this long cases in general surgery, how the book is inside. Uh, any case that you take, there are a lot of, there's a lot of information about the case. Okay, how to palpate, how to examine, how to treat, what are the complications of the treatment, operative procedure, everything they are covering. According to me, this is a very, very useful book. Because instead of running around on the last day of your exam, buy this in the beginning itself. Okay, it will save a lot of time. Now coming to short cases in surgery, let's see what's there. See, basically swellings, you know, like dermoid cysts, sebaceous cysts, lipoma, hemangioma, neurofibroma, all those things can come here. Then uh, oral cavity carcinoma, they are talking about. Then varicoseal of testes, hydroseal, undescended testes, testicular tumor, carcinoma penis. I think they don't keep all this in the exam though, especially... I never saw carcinoma penis etc being kept. Then they can keep uh, breast again has come here. Fibroadenoma of breast is a short case looks like. However, carcinoma breast is 
long case so all this you'll have to learn okay people so this book also is very neat very colorful bulleted looks very interesting and easy and attractive staging so questions with answers which is very nice isn't it why is prim why is the primary occult in some patients what are they talking about melanoma skin cancer is it looks like correct looks like neck head and neck actually occult occult primary neck with occult primary secondary is neck with occult primary so what are these questions answers also they giving examiner's favorite question with answers okay so highly recommended books these are for your exam surgery practicals daily carry these books also to your clinics it will help a lot hodgkins lymphoma okay so personally i am recommending these books very very handy okay so finally these will help you pass okay this book is also very good this book is only for clinical examination it will help you only for impressing lecturers because they want you to carry this book every day so along with that these books will help you to answer your viva the complete picture about one particular case these books will give you finally let me add a note here that finally uh, to pass your practicals books and your knowledge is one thing secondly secondarily your lecturer your college should have the intention to pass you because finally it is um, a lot of what do you say politics also comes in where they don't pass students even after you do everything okay bye bye